Hey guys, uh, it's Jim Downs at Co-op Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch and uh, sorry about the radio silence for a while. Uh, we've been working, I think we told you before about the format where we're going to really deep in, get deep into something. You saw the first one we did about, about the Onan generator. Don't you think it was the first video was perfect? Nothing worked twice. Anyway, so we've been working every night on these videos to fix all of these problems in that generator. You know what I would have done normally? I'd just throw the thing out. You know, I mean, I was into Hondas, but you know the problem with Hondas now, they're getting old. Hell, I put those in 20 years ago. Um, and those Onans, uh, it's like a World War II pump motor. You can just keep fixing it. You can keep buttoning the head of the horse back on there. And so that's what he's doing. We're spending a lot of time doing that. We want to break radio silence and do a little something here. And see, my videos are real easy. I just tell Scarlett to kick on the tape and we just talk about stuff. That's easy. But this other format, this is really what you guys want. Okay, we're going to do it. So stand by one. Today, I'm going to talk about how to make your living area in your motorhome twice as big. Twice as much room to work, to play, do stuff. So how's that? Per quoi? Put an awning on it. Okay, let's talk about the reasons you don't want an awning. Well, they look like Hang on. They look like This is a Zip D awning. I would not put anything other than a Zip D because other awnings are a universal awning that the arms are made to fit whatever you're going to put it on. And the arms are big, honky looking things. And it's hard to, to put it out and to, and to set it back up. You got to use two people, you got to kind of hift on them. When you see about a Zip D and then how to install it, we're going to do that right now too. There's only a tape measure, you need only one measurement. Remember this measure, two inches. You don't need any more paper, two inches. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to install this awning. I'm going to show you how to, well, it's already installed. This is a Christmas present we put in January for your guy's wife. I'm going to show you how this was installed. We're going to sit there through the minutiae of drilling holes and all that. We'll get it done. And then I'm going to set it. And I'm going to put it back up to show you how easy it is. All right? All right. So, first thing you do. You call Zip D. Or I think uh, you can call us. We can have it drop chip to you. Um, that's the kind of thing they do. Nothing is off the shelf. Everything is made with your name on it as it goes through. You say, so what? They tell us exactly when it goes through. If you want it purple with pink polka dots, all the materials, Sunbrella, every awning, there's not good, better, best. They're all Cadillacs. They all have the aluminum uh, cover rail on them to protect them, make them look spiffy. They all have Nice, small, anodized arms, really pretty stuff. They all have Sunbrella material. There is no upgrades. It's a Cadillac, right? It's fantastic on it. So you call Zip D or you call us or somebody that's a Zip D dealer. Uh, in that they're made one at a time, the price is pretty much what the price is. I mean, there's not like, they don't make 500 of them up and, you know, it's, a, it's in the most expensive awning you can buy. It is. So you get an awning, you get it shipped to you. Okay? Of course, you brought it in here about four, maybe five hours total time. One guy can be done. Okay? So, first thing you do, take it out of the box. It'll have a rail. The top rail attaches to the motorhome. This is where the two inches comes in. You go two inches up from the top of your original rail, from this, this gutter. From the top of that rail, you measure up two inches and put that rail on. Now, uh, we're going to drop in a picture of the top rail, and you'll see the, the top rail in there riveted in, and you'll see where the, the uh, awning 
is, uh, is connected. So we drop that in right now. So the rail's in there. You see where it's set up. You see it's two inches up. Okay, next thing. You take the case fabric roller. That's the big long thing with all the stuff in it. You put the two ends on it. These, these ends here, uh, we'll put a picture of that. Put the two ends on it. Then you have your two buddies. Be sure you maybe bring some beer or something. And you're going to slide the awning onto that rail. Slide it onto the rail. Okay? It's up there. Now, you get your handy uh, OSHA ladder. Everybody has one, right? You get your ladder. I'm going to show you a picture of this. This is the top bracket. The top bracket goes right next to this vertical seam. Right next to it. And right at the top of the rail. Right next to the seam at the top of the rail. Screw it in. On the other side down there, same thing. There's a vertical seam. You go right next to the vertical seam. You put the bracket on. Okay? Now, when you do that, the wheel right here comes out of the bracket, right? There's your arm, I mean your, your uh, base plate, the Zip-D base plate right here. It's in, it's up, it stays. These two brackets, arms, the case fabric roller slides into the rail, it's up. Okay? Now, <coughs> It's up, and now we need to make it move. All right? So you can see this arm goes in the bottom of the bracket. This arm goes into the zip D head. It comes down here. Now, if you notice, when I took the wheel off, it slid right over. All right? You push this up until that lines up where you want it to be, because this is loading it up that way. Hold it up, put your lower bracket in here, we got a picture of that, right next to the propane edge. This is about a half inch, maybe a quarter of an inch to a half inch. Why? Because there's metal right here. Just about that wide, about one inch, right here. So these two screws, you see there's three screws on this lower bracket? Two of the screws go into the metal, the third one, they supply you a butterfly rivet. You put that in because that goes into the plastic. You could put a backing plate on that. A lot of people will put a metal plate on the outside and then you can move it back and forth. Now, the closer you get here, the harder it is for this to clear. So you want it right on that edge, right on that edge where this clears and it doesn't hit the awning. On the front, the same thing. The lower bracket goes right next to the vertical piece. Right next to this vertical seam, the two pieces of bracket go right in here. The third one goes into plastic. These two go into metal. Push up, place that where it goes straight into the slot on the, on the, uh, on the head. Bring it up till that happens. That's your head. It's in. That's it. It's all in. So we charge maybe four hours. One guy, if you think about it, one guy working four to five hours can get this whole thing in. Of course, two guys get it done in two to three hours, right? All right, so look. <clears throat> Awnings make your motorhome bigger. A zip D awning doesn't look too bad. Now they make electric awnings and all that. The more complicated you make it, more times it's going to break. Okay? It's not hard at all. And next thing I'm going to show you is how to set it up. All right, so you guys go get a Fothy beverage or something, put it on pause, and I'm going to come right back and we're going to deploy this awning and we're going to roll it back in. All right? Be right back. Okay, we're back. 
Okay, we're going to set up this zip D on it. We're going to deploy it. One guy can do this, so watch. First step. See this wheel here? This is your lock. So you want to unlock this wheel. Like that. And there. Make sense? Okay, this is stowed on this little hook here. I'm going to take that out. I run it down to the first lock. Same here. All right. All right, here we go. Now this is the part that gets dirtiest. This little strip here. So before you go any further, don't let it hit the ground, it'll get dirty. Roll this up. Has it be thought about this? Earlier ones had a, uh, a Velcro uh, tab. If you have one of those, they fall off. Okay? Then they got smarter, higher tech, and they got a loop. You stuff it in the loop. Now it doesn't hit the floor. Okay? Next thing, you got this bar. Got a hook on it. Right here in the middle of the case fabric roller, you hook it on there. Now you want to set the arm. Put tension on it. Over here, same thing. Tension on it. All right. Next thing, we want to bring up the rafter. Put your, put your arm on this. Pull the pin. We'll show you what the pin is. And you go up to the first notch. Come over here, go two notches. You're pushing with your arm here to push it open. Pull the pin, you go up one notch, two notches. And if you're going to have a lot of wind, you go up one, you leave it like that. If there's no wind, if you're in Arizona, well, you got wind there. Say it's no rain. If you have rain, you need to tilt the awning. If you bring all of them up the same, this will create a bucket and it'll bend your arms. Ask me how I know. So right now, that's the third one. Now it's all the way up, it's level, it's not going to rain today. I've had mine in 35 mile an hour winds, and, it, and it, I had to put it in because I couldn't rent, I couldn't sleep. So they're pretty daggone resilient. But you never want to leave it like this if you go away, because if it rains, you're screwed. So you want to tilt one side or the other, at least one notch. If it might rain, you go down another. Okay. Now, didn't take too much to do that. Now, let's put it back up. All right, so you see that it's up. Now, during, during COVID, I made the mistake of leaving my, up, my awning up for two years. What happened? Seam split. So I'm going to have to get fixed. These are not supposed to be up all the time. You can leave it up for a week. But I'd put it in. Clean it up. Don't leave it out in the sun. Even though this is Sunbrella and the stuff will really hold up to the sun, the threads won't. <laughs> Mine messed up. Okay? So don't leave them out forever. You can put them in, take them out. Okay? All right. So let's put this in now. 
Come to the side you have the highest, the highest arm on and bring it all the way down. Okay? And go to the other side and bring it all the way down. Alright? Now, take the rafters out. Pop this, that pops the, the tension. Remember the tension I put in it like that? You pop that, release it. Take that out of there. And hang it back on that little hook that it stays on. Same thing over here. Pop the rafter. Releases it. On the hook. Now, take this out, get it nice and straight. Now, if it's wound right, it shouldn't, it doesn't come down. I don't have to hold it. If it's wound too tight, it'll try to take off. It's kind of dangerous. Okay? On the winding of it, if you look in the manual, the, the manual explains winding real easy. It's just to take the, the, the back arm and turn it uh, clockwise, 12 turns, see if it's loose. 13, see if it's loose. 14, oh, it's too tight. You move back. You start at 10, move up. All right, so this is, this is sprung just right. Start it going, and then it goes on its own. Lock the safeties down. Oh, here's a little trick. You see here, if you push this in, it goes up. So this wheel lines right up in it. Oops, it's up. That's it. So you can see it's pretty easy to do. Nice looking on him. How much are there? They're a little over $2,000, something like that. And you know how things, prices change every week, so who knows. But uh, this is a zip deoning. This is all that we install. We will not install any of the other brands. Why? Because they don't work. They just don't work. All right, I hope this helps. I had a, this came from a, a ranch hand that was getting ready to put up his, uh, put on a Zip Dion in, and he told me, he read that instruction manual, and he's just scared. He just didn't know what to do. He's measuring all these measures. So I said, hang on to your awning until I do this video. So there you go, brother. Two inches. Call me if you have any other questions, and... Stay tuned for some really cool videos about Onan Generator. Thanks for uh, being ranch hands. Thanks for supporting us. And uh, hmm, we'll see you next time.